<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Wonderland Asylum. We're back today with issue 75 of the Hachette Partworks release of Titanic, the ship, the legend. So, what's in the magazine today? An article on Benjamin Guggenheim, gentleman to the end. In the town of Leadville, Colorado, um, which was there that Guggenheim's found their fortune in mining, apparently. Uh, there's a picture of Benjamin Guggenheim there. If you remember the 1997 movie of Titanic, he was actually played by two different actors. Um, so, yeah, have a, wee, have a wee keek at that. But it seems to only be in the original version. There was a, a remastered edition, and I've not seen it, but I'm told that he play, the same actor plays it all the way through in that. But it was John Lithgow who played him at the start of the original version. I've still got it in VHS. I may need to look it out and just take a couple of pictures, because it doesn't appear it's not on John Lithgow's screen credits or anything. But And I've not seen, read, or heard any stories as to why it changed, but I noticed it when I first watched it. Um, anyway... Uh, yep, there's an article on Peggy Guggenheim, who was Benjamin's daughter. She died on the Titanic. She was a patron of the arts, apparently. Uh, and there's the Peggy Guggenheim Museum, which is in the Palazzo Venier del Leone, in the Grand Canal in Venice. Apologies for my absolute butchering of the Italian language. Uh, but then that moves us on to our parts. So... Let's have a look at what's in the box. Okay, so in today's box, we have a brown envelope containing the service area and corridor, which presumably is where the serving staff for the first class lounge was situated. Nothing else in there. We have, as I said, an LED strip. We have a cable for the LED strip. We're building up a collection of them again. We have some more AP screws. And we have another little envelope, which I presume contains DS and DD windows. Now they're these windows, they're quite nice to work with, so not too bad at all. As I said, this one shouldn't take as long as the previous ones because there's not as much to fit. But one thing there is, is a door. May two doors, which need the porthole drilled out. So again, these parts aren't all that thick, so just watch your finger as you're drilling. You just don't want to drill your finger out. See? That would have been very nasty if it caught my finger. Or funny. One way or the other. <laughs> yep. And again, on the other side, exactly the same thing. Line the drill bit up with a porthole. You see, you can see the white swath beginning to make its way up the drill bit. And there we go. As I said earlier, it, to me it just looks a bit better with a porthole drilled out and obviously it'll allow light to shine through it as it would have done on the actual ship. A couple of seconds work, make a world of difference. So, because this one isn't going to take very long, I'm going to annoy you by making you watch me glue all these windows in. There are only 10 of them. Um, so, as I mentioned before, to get them off a photo etch disc, the way I find easiest is like that. These are mounted top and bottom. So you just spin them around and after a couple of turns they fall off quite nicely. As I say, I have tried a metal earth kit before and to get the photo edge off of that is uh, significantly more difficult uh, because it's mounted at strange points so you definitely need a scalpel, a former and a very good set of duck nose pliers to get the bends correct. But we don't need that for Titanic. So again, just a wee dab of glue either side. That'll be enough to hold them in. Ho 
hopefully you've seen in the last two stages I've actually lost a window in both of them so maybe that's not enough glue to hold them in <laughs> I'm hoping it is because I don't want windows falling out but then this is a once this is completed, it'll sit inside its case and probably very rarely have the case removed. Um, unless, of course, the remote uses far less batteries than Bismarck's remote did. Um, that's why Bismarck doesn't get used. I don't give de demonstrations of Bismarck very often because she uses a heck of a lot of batteries. And that's just for the remote. I've got the mains power mod from uh, Partwork Upgrades which I can't recommend highly enough incidentally if you're building Bismarck I would definitely consider uh, Partwork Upgrades power mod in fact if you're building any model have a look and see if they do a power mod for it I think from what I've read and what I've seen so far I think Titanic is already going to be mains powered, but I'm not sure. If it's not, I'm sure part work upgrades will produce a mod, and if they do, I will get it, and I will show you it. <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. That's them in. Again, look at the difference from that side to that side. I just, I, they look phenomenal. They're so detailed. Again, on the other side. As I say, some people use blue tack to put these in, some people use tweezers, it's entirely what's best for you. Me, I spent my summers as a child building L-fitting Airfix and Matchbox 172nd scale airplanes, so I'm used to dealing with fiddly stuff. <laughs> Whereas if you're not, if this is maybe your first real model -y model, if you do part works, a lot of their the one eighth scale cars etc there's not a lot of actual modeling in whereas as i say the ones i've really done are bismarck millennium falcon and now titanic and all three of them there's a fair fair bit of good old modelers gluing etc on it Fantastic. So again, all we're doing now is bringing the deck back over. Again, it'll only line up one way because of the way the pins are offset. So this one should be easier to get to sit in its little gap because A, it's smaller and B, it's a square or a rectangle rather. So, yep. We'll get three, uh, four of our five screws out. Another spare AP screw. <laughs> Again, it's good of them to provide you square, spare screws, but uh, I'm more prone to drop parts than I am to drop screws. Okay. Wait and see, I'll drop a screw now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, as I said, with the Millennium Falcon, I ended up with a, f a whole box full of spare screws. But I suppose it's better that than not having enough. So I think that's kind of the the modus operandi with a lot of of the part works. Is you do end up with a load of spare screws at the end of it. Uh, I know, for example, I had a ton sitting from Bismarck and I had a lot even at the stage I was at I think I only did up to stage uh, pack 12 of the Echo 1 I still had a ton of spare screws sitting there and at that point I was using a pillbox and had them all labelled as to what they were then I realised there wasn't any point because <laughs> they gave you the ones you needed in the next issue anyway uh, the only two exceptions to that rule that I know of is 
R2-D2 and the Millennium Falcon in which they will give you screws and specifically say save these for a future issue. So you'll get a big bag of screws and if you use them all or if you throw them away then you're not going to have enough. <laughs> but yep. So now flipping the deck over. Hopefully this time the windows will fall off when I do so. Again, line up the little notch with the notch there, push it under the clips, and you'll hear a nice click to let you know it's in. And again, that bulb's not quite as protruding as the front one, but it'll light up the grand staircase, the aft grand staircase, very nicely. But, with that being said and done, can see the, the little bulb there. That is us for issue 75. Fantastic. Okay, so that's us for issue 75. What's coming in issue 76? The final bit of the promenade deck, which is the first class smoking room, I do believe. Yep. Uh, and the associated windows, uh, another LED strip, another cable, and couple of more support structures. So yeah, it looks awesome. It really really does. As you see the, the deck housings all coming together and imagine that with a with a boat deck sitting on top of it and how long it is. It's absolutely massive. So yeah, that's us for issue 75. Issue 76 we'll put the final bit of structure on there and then we're moving back onto the hull. So yeah, as always, any feedback, comments, complaints, criticisms, any guesses as to what the new build's going to be, uh, stick them down below. Uh, do drop me a follow for this and for future content. Um, and yeah, do leave me a like as well. It does help out massively. So yeah, thank you for joining me for issue 75 of Hashit Partworks Titanic the Ship the Legend. Do join me for issue 76. So thanks guys, and as always, peace out.